Hello everyone on YouTube, it's me again, Gareth A.K. Redsaw. Looked at the previous footage and I found that I made a mistake in that when I was talking about the um, cold resistance. When I said how many enemies have cold resistance, no that was wrong. It was how many enemies have cold attack. Anyway, moving on. That's what I meant to say. So if anyone sends me a message, you know, about that, oh well, my bad. Let's talk to you. Come on. You have to be in the right place. Where do I, do you want me to stand? I'll, I'll stand right in front of you. Haha, <laughs> Commander Turnin's designated madman. I was beginning to think you'd had an attack of common sense, but that would have spoiled everything. <laughs> now this maze is tricky, so stay close. Is it really? Since you've been appointed head of this mission, uh, you can have the honour of taking the lead. Don't worry about getting lost, just stay in front of me in case there's any traps ahead. After you. Don't mind if I do. You're useless anyway. Since when have you ever helped me out? And before I go in here, I must remember to change this to ice because what we're going to be fighting now is spiders so down we go assuming that insect creatures are very vulnerable to ice attacks which is why I'm using it that's just a guess you lead I'll follow watch in the back of your head comforts me it means you still got one. Ah, <laughs> oh, there, you're so humorous. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go! Fight them all! This place has many twists and turns. I can only hope the plans of our foe prove simpler to unravel. It will not prove simpler to unravel, I doubt it. That's it, you follow me, yay! Right, same as before, watch out for traps. Because these spiders come out from those things, as you can see. And when you find them, you always find a weakness every time you find these little holes. Because they're so vulnerable to attack. They give themselves away so easily. Any more? Any more? Any more? No. All right then. Let's carry on. And charge! And I miss. There goes my clumsiness again. Oh, I don't know. Ah, you want to fight me? You can't fight me. Oi, you leave him alone. Can't shoot straight at all, I really can't. Well, I saw something pretty interesting not so long ago that an LP had done by the name of Cloud8745 I saw that he'd done something live not so long ago and it was on a site called Stickham and I must admit it was pretty entertaining I really enjoyed it and I hope anyone who's watched this video find, found it entertaining too if you ever watched it, the live event that Class 8745 bit. And um, if you did, tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think thought of it, I mean. Because I would like to hear from your views what you thought of um, the live event that he done. For those of you who don't know, he was playing um, Resident Evil 4 and asking all these questions to people as he was playing the game. And um, most of them have been, you know, questions like, um, when, are you going to play Halo 3? And he kept on saying, 
no, I'm not going to be playing Halo 3, you know, blah, 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 and all that stuff. But all in all, it was just entertaining. It was rather funny. So that's my that's my opinion on the live LP that you done. And that's all I have to say about that. This part is so easy. You can easily take out these spiders without even using any magic. Apart from earlier, where I had to face that shaman and um, with a lot of energy and all those goblins around him. It's a good thing that I um, took out all those goblins and put him in a secluded area. Otherwise, he would have resurrected them and I would have been in trouble. <sighs> Yeah, I actually can actually use magic on them. I had to remember when they come up, they're not vulnerable to anything. You had to wait a couple of second, a couple of milliseconds. I'm too hasty like that. You can see what I'm doing here. What I'm, I'm um, purposely looking for these spiders for experience points because if I wasn't looking for any, you, you I would have just carried on. But you know. I'm sure everyone else would do the same if they were playing this game, so I'm sure I'm not the only one that would go round here and check anymore. Got to focus. There. You're done. Next please. Come on. Go down. You can't defeat me. I really, I must say, I'm really looking forward to fighting the Mammoth Ants, which is the next level down, but but first, I must be weary of what I'm going to fight next, because it's going to be a huge, huge giant spider. And when I mean huge giant spider, I mean huge giant spider. If you thought these spiders were big, you've seen nothing yet. I believe the spider that I'm on about is called the Queen Spider. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I must have got something new by now. Wow, I've got a hammer. Oh, I wish you could wield that. I <laughs> but that's wishful thinking. 43. Well, at the moment the staff seems to be the most powerfulest weapon I have. And I can't use any other, so... Well, that's all I can have. And, ooh. 32 armor class. Against... 32. Yeah. But I'm not... Okay, weight difference. Is it the same? Or different? And anyway, why am I looking at that? Because that's the top half. This is the bottom half. Yeah. 32. Ah. Well, it's obvious that I'm going to change to that because I'm not going to pass that up, am I? Looks alright, not too bad. Got a plus intelligence and plus stamina. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Anyway, I need to thank people for me coming to my senses because if I if I sold that, that means I wouldn't have got that as a combination with that. Therefore I would not have as much intelligence or stamina. So thanks a lot. And look so I've got basically, yeah, I've got 30 in total. 30 intelligence and stamina in total. That is a lot. But is there anything better? I doubt it, but I'll still look. No. Doesn't compare to that one. Let's have a look at it anyway. <laughs> 